This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how you can use the Dolphin browser on your Android phone. Now, your Android phone comes with a fairly decent browser, but if you're looking for something with a little more oomph, a few more features, check out the Dolphin browser. It's available in the Android market. It's free. Here it is on my Droid. Just tap it. It opens up. Now, one of the first things you have to notice for a mobile browser is that it has tabs. Here we're on the Dolphin home page. We can tap the Google tab. And you'll see that light up. There's images. Now I can tap the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And what it does is it brings up a place where I can make selections. You can have bookmarks and favorites. You have some things from Google and other things. I'm just going to tap news just to open up another tab. So now you see I have three tabs and I can move back and forth between them just by tapping on the tab, move back to the Dolphin homepage. So that's a slick feature. If you tap the menu key, you see you can tap share page. When you do that, you get a lot of different options, delicious Facebook, Twitter, email, text message, and so on. We'll tap that menu key again. You'll see that you can have downloads. You can compact the page, select text, subscribe to an RSS feed. You can go into the settings. And if you do that, you'll see that the Dolphin browser has a lot of possible configurable settings. It also supports gestures, the gesture button, using the volume button to be the scroll RSS notifications, hiding the bar. This is a long and impressive list of configurable options for a mobile browser. You can use the SD card for storage, which is a cool feature. You can have a larger cache that way. We'll go back with the back button. And we'll tap the menu button one more time. See, so you also have a home page button and you can also find text on a page and search. So this is the Dolphin browser. It's a very nice browser. I use it quite often on my Droid. Check it out. And that's all there is to it.